does radiation do? I don't want, I don't necessarily want any answer you've looked up or any answer. It may be something that you learned thus far in the unit, but what does radiation do? Other thoughts. What does radiation do? Gets rid of cancer. Gets rid of cancer. Mutate. So, so at your table, talk it out and get everybody ready, because I'm not calling anybody. Get everybody ready with an answer. What does radiation do? But remember, I'm not necessarily looking for the scientific answer. It could be anything you know that radiation does. Talk about radiation. Uh, one person from the back to volunteer to start out this discussion. Oh, okay. okay. Those of you with your hands up, you're in the hot seat now. So, any of you, any order, what, what does radiation do? Um, alters molecular structures. It does, doesn't it? It alters the molecular structure. <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's bad. Well, Okay. Both. Okay. What does radiation do? Uh, it causes cancer. Okay. Okay. So it causes cancer? What does radiation do? It causes something to break down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, any other thoughts from anybody? Something we hadn't mentioned. What it is cooks your food. Cooks food. What radiation is that? Microwave. Ah. Does that make sense? Microwave radiation? Oh, okay. Any other thoughts? What does radiation do? Stops cancer. Um, I'm going to pick up on one thing that, that Dalton said. Dalton, right? Yeah. Dalton said, he was talking about microwave radiation. For the rest of the lesson, we're going to be talking about nuclear radiation, which you studied, right? Okay, so now, next question. Remember that big idea? We're looking on what does radiation do? Big idea. Uh, what is radiation? What is radiation? Nuclear radiation. The, who, raise your hand if you're in the hot seat. Raise your hand. Those of you who are in the hot seat. Point to the person in your group on your right. On your right. Your right. Your other right. There we go. Your right. There we go. If you're being pointed at, raise your hand. Ah, you uh, you're in the hot seat next. So, talk about the group. Get the person that's in the hot seat ready to report the group answer. What what is radiation? What is radiation? It's the electron that's on yeah, I was Finish that off. Okay, who's in the hot seat? Who's in the hot seat here? Okay, so any of you, any order, those of you in the hot seat, what is radiation? What's your group come up with? The emission of rays into the hot seat. Emission of rays. The rest of you, before we hear you more reports, they said the emission of rays. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Would you agree? Yeah. Uh, uh, no. no. Okay. So we'll keep listening, and we'll come back to that. Uh, what What is radiation? A form of heat. A form of heat. Okay. What is radiation? Electrons put off by the nuclear. Electrons put off. What is radiation? Decomposition. Decomposition of? Fun. A nucleus. Or and atoms. 
you guys are going all around. The interesting thing is I only heard one group seeming to pick up an idea from that big worksheet you did. When I said, what is radiation? So let me give you a hint, and I'll have you talk about it again, and we'll hear more reports from the hot seat people again, the same hot seat people. Here's your hint. There are three kinds of radiation. Oh. Ah. So now remember my question, what is nuclear radiation? Nuclear. We're, we're going to put heat and microwave aside. Y'all have been studying nuclear radiation. What is it? And the hint is three types. Talk it out. What is radiation? That's decomposition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, finish that thought and come back together. Hot seat people again, any of you in order? Tell me, why don't you start and tell me about, let's start, tell me about one kind. What is radiation? What? So alpha, what is alpha? What? Four to helium. But what is that? If I could shrink you down to a really, really small level, can you, and I showed you... Alpha radiation, what would you see? Anyone? You would see a 4 2 helium particle interacting with the original particles that form a different atom. What's a 4 2 helium particle? What does that mean? What would I see? Alpha. Uh, what is helium? She said not really. gas. Yeah. What is helium? Helium's a gas made up of it's atoms. An, it's an unstable helium because it's, it's not correctly balanced. It's unstable. The thing about an alpha particle compared to a helium particle, you may not have picked this up yet, it has no electrons. The whole electron cloud is gone. So it's four, two, what does that mean? Two what? Two protons. Two protons. Atomic mass. So if I've got two protons, what else do I have? Two neutrons. Two neutrons. Does that make sense? I'm seeing a helium nucleus. When, when a substance decays radioactively and gives off alpha particles, if you were small enough to see one of those whizzing by, you would see a particle made up of two protons and two neutrons. You would see the nucleus of a helium, the, the, something that looks like the nucleus of a helium atom with none of the electrons. Got that? What is radiation? There are three kinds. One kind is a particle made up of two protons and two neutrons. That make sense? Oh, but we've got two other kinds of radiation. Anybody, any group come up with the, what, what the other ones are? Gamma radiation is when the particle has literally no mass. It has no mass. It's a kind of radiation. It has no mass. Well, if something has no mass, what is it? Give you a hint. It's not matter. It's... Does that make sense? You said light, right? It's not light because you can't see it, but it is a type. Light is energy. Gamma, gamma radiation is pure energy. Would that be destructive? Pure energy oh, streaming yeah. at you? Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't know if you remember, gamma is the most destructive. Yeah. It's the most destructive radiation. So the nucleus gives off pure energy. Alpha, gamma, beta. beta. Why do they call it gamma? You may know. You have to know your Greek alphabet. Why do they call it gamma? Alpha, beta, A, B, C. C. What's C in the Greek alphabet? Gamma. Really? They just had three kinds of radiation and they named them A, B, C. But they use they use the Greek alphabet and they named them alpha, beta, gamma. So don't get confused by gamma. It's just the third letter of the Greek alphabet. Alpha particles. Gamma rays, ooh, I think you said rays before. Gamma rays, kind of a cool idea, rays. What's, anybody come up with, what's a beta particle? No mass. Negative. So what is it? 
it's an electron. Or, yeah, I think you found out, I think Ms. Lattner helped you see that there's another form of it. It can be an electron or it can be a positron. Yeah, which is a positive electron. Remember, so it's a stream of particles coming out. It says it has no mass because electrons are so tiny that you might as well ignore the mass. But it's electrons streaming out of the nucleus. Three kinds of radiation. With me thus far? Um, take 30 seconds, talk it out with your group, and tell everybody one thing you've just learned over the last 10 minutes. Go ahead. New ideas. Just learn. Okay, so I can re remind you that the big question that we're working on is what does radiation do? Remember at the beginning you told me it causes cancer, it cooks food, what else did we find out that radiation does? Causes mutations, uh, uh, kills cancer. What does radiation do? Now we've been talking about what is radiation. Yeah. Last question, then we'll go back to the big level. How does radiation happen? How does radiation happen? I'll give you a hint. You you did a whole homework series on how radiation happens. Talk it out with your group. How does how, so? Uh, let me ask it another way. If I, if you could shrink me down to the size of a nucleus, and I could see the nucleus about to in, to go through radioactive decay, what's actually going to happen that'll cause radiation? Talk it out. Get your best answer. Yeah. Okay, who was in the hot seat the last time? Point at the person on your right. Kayla. Ah, so if you got pointed at, raise your hand. You're the new hot seat people. Who's here? Okay, okay. Those of you who are in the hot seat, question is, how does radiation happen? What are you and your group thinking? There's a big tunnel under plants, and yeah. Keep going, keep going. Listen. Everybody listen, listen, listen. One of the atoms like rushes by and hits another one. Okay, so atoms smash together. But then how does radiation happen at the nuclear level? They smash together, and then what happens? Electrons are lost from where? Okay, there's something a little bit weird there we'll come back to. But we just said electrons are lost from the nucleus. What's in a nucleus? Neutrons. neutrons. And what did you just tell me? Electrons are lost from the nucleus. And what's in a nucleus? Protons and neutrons. You may seen a problem here? Yeah. Electrons come out of the nucleus and there are protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Well, I guess electrons are coming out. So, so electrons are from the outer shell. No, they're not from the outer shell. They're coming out of the nucleus. We'll come back to that. So there's one way radiation happens is the nucleus gives off electrons. How, do, how does radiation happen in the other groups? What y'all come up with? How does radiation happen? There's an unbalanced number. It's unstable. So you guys seem to be stuck here. On C wave. It's unstable. So alpha part alpha particles. It's unstable and what happens? It becomes stable. When when it becomes stable, when it decays. With an alpha particle, what happens to the nucleus? Think of your sheet that you just did. It loses neutrons. 
it loses, what's an apple particle? Like, it, it's two protons and two neutrons, so the nucleus decays, breaks apart, and out, and out comes an apple particle. So what just happened to the nucleus? You did it on your sheet. It lost two protons, two neutrons, and became a different element. Decay, does that make sense? That's one way. It shoots off an alpha particle. You also, I think you may have also learned that it also, in the midst of all that, that whole decay series, these gamma particles can also come out. Just that pure energy. But now we're stuck with that beta particle. What could be going on that could cause a nucleus to emit an electron? Any thoughts? Anybody? How can a nucleus do that? You're getting close. The protons are negative. You're getting close. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's no surprise that you don't know because you guys have never really studied this before. You've always been taught what's in a nucleus. Say it again. Protons and neutrons. But there's got to be an electron in there too, isn't there? What's a neutron made out of? Does anybody know? <laughs> Almost. A neutron, a, neutron, a, neutron, a neutron, it has no charge because it's made up of a proton and an electron. Ah, so they cancel. So now, when, so now think of your decay series. 